Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Grease. So, guys, if you haven't noticed, we had to, I had to resort back to clock because apparently I forgot to save the game. Sorry about that. But it wasn't really that much. We only lost about a month of progress from last episode. And as you guys know, we aren't really doing that much. We're really just in a constant war right now against Greece. I mean, not Greece, against China that will not end. It feels like it's an eternity thing that's just not going to end. It feels like it's forever. Uh, it kind of stinks because I really do want this war to end. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's... It feels really stupid that we're still in this war. That's all I gotta say. Like, insanely stupid. So, yeah. We're in this war. We're doing as many stuff as we can. And we're just kind of sitting here. Waiting on things to change, I guess. And while we're here, I'm waiting on things to change. I think I'm going to build some clippers. Just like detach 10. Okay. So I'm going to build like 10 clippers. And we're going to... I think I think I figured out how I'm going to get troops from over here to over there quickly. And what I think I figured it out. What I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to build troops right here. Oh, wait, yeah. Crisis now, there's a crisis, but no one's gonna join it because every. Because. Well, no one ever joins this crisis in this, so. I think we built like seven men. So, yeah, we're going to try to like build a massive army. Uh, we're gonna try to build a massive army to go in and reconquer some of our lands so that we can finally get China out of this war. Which is completely stupid that we're even in this war to begin with. That's the first thing I wanna mention, but since we are in this war. We have to live with it, which really does stink, because we really shouldn't be even in this war! We, the good thing about this war, though, is that we are getting insane amounts of money, which is good. But, as anyone of a historian will tell you, money can't buy your love. So, yeah, that's kind of bad, and we're building as much militaristic people as we can. Administration efficiency has gone up! Huzzah! And we can build a national bank, but national bank is not good for us right about now. Let's just keep getting, let's just keep getting as much uh, economic stuff as stuff as we can to try to keep increasing our power, because we really don't want to like up and die here. So just keep increasing, keep building as many ships as we can. Um, and since we have so much money, <laughs> you know what I want to do, guys? I kind of want to build like lots of forts. Well, not lots of forts, lots of, um, naval shipyards. Because, like, we have nothing to do with our power, so let's just, like, just, like, blow some of our money off. Because I really don't have much to really spend it on. And let's just start building, let's start having our ships go this way. Four, five, yeah, they're all, they're all finishing up at different times, but they'll all finish up. One more, we have one more ship. There we go. Get them all over here. And we can build some more. We could do something really good and epic. What should we do? Is anything? These we're not going to do anything different there. Uh, state unions, censored press. No one really cares. 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 No one really. People really want minimum wage. I can't exactly do that because that requires a lot more. I can give you good education, but I can't give you guys minimum wage. I mean, for, for, for Pete's sake, we don't even have a factory here. How can I give you guys minimum wage if I don't even have factories built? But, yeah, we have our, we have our military or our shipbuilding might starting to become more powerful. And with this ship, I'm going to go block up the uh, sea to make sure that no one else goes over here. And apparently France with the war with some... What the? Wait, wait. France is at war with who? Oh. oh, okay, so the French are at war with, like, the Prussian, Russian, no, oh, no, it seems like they're at war individually with the Prussian, Russians, and Spanish. They're not actually, okay, I thought there was a gigantic coalition against them right now. No, they're just, they're just conveniently at war with all these people at one time. Okay. Okay, that makes sense, but that, dang, that's a lot of people they're at war with right now. Uh, too bad they, I don't think they'll be able to coordinate enough to, uh, do enough damage to the, uh, British, so, that kind of stinks, but, eh, 
Who cares? Columbia goes bankrupt. Poor Columbia. Okay, now apparently I'm going bankrupt. Poor me. <laughs> Let's go right here. It's just gain. Yeah, it's gain lots of military men right now. So I really don't want to go bankrupt. Pandemic ep epidemic, of course. Uh, okay, and China is still. Gosh dang it, China! Are you guys about willing to give up? Cause I'm about willing to give up if you're willing. If you're about willing to give up, seriously, I don't want to be in this war anymore. I want to get out of it. Don't worry, I definitely do. We don't need to be fighting this anymore. We could be friends. You know why can't we be friends? 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 I mean, come on, that song talks all about that kind of stuff. We should be friends. Okay, let's see. Can we all get on the ship? Yes, we can. Um, and now we should start to go send this ship to go all the way, and... How did they sneak past me? I don't know, but let's see. Are they actually Do they actually have troops inside their ships? They have a couple blockades going. Now can I please get out of this? <laughs> can I please get out of this? Please... Oh gosh dang, they're not going to let me out of this, are they? I'm going to be internally at war with China for the rest of this game, aren't I? Oh gosh. I mean, we probably could build pretty good weapons, but... Oh gosh, we're going to be at war with China for the rest of this game. Oh man, this is like an eternally... Uh... Bad sitcom or something, I don't know. This is terrible though. Oh... My voice is also getting a little bit hoarse right It's even getting more hoarse right now, so that is not good. China! Wait, China, you want peace? Please tell me you want peace. Oh, thank goodness you want peace! Oh! Oh, yes, they want peace. They want peace. Oh, good. Alright, well, I'll go send these troops right over here. Oh, this is my brilliant idea, people, is that I figured out that to bring these troops over here, all I have to do is just bring them over here, and then from there I have a different transport system. To bring them all the way up to my mainland. So this is how I'm going to start transporting lots and lots of troops is by this way. But I'm wondering if I should go to war with uh, the Ottomans right now because their biggest ally is kind of busy. Well, they were busy with a couple wars and Prussia has expanded again. Oh, good job, Prussia. You finally, you finally broke out of it. You finally broke out of your little tiny prison. But... Now only the Russians are at war with uh, France, and I'm not sure they're going to be able to last long enough. I mean, the Prussians are, I mean, the Russians are like pushing up against Poland land, but I'm not sure if they'll be strong enough to do much more than that. Mm. For us, though, what we should probably do is... Hmm. What should we do? Let's get this. Yes, that seems like a good idea. And holy shoot, 50% of our people can read right now. That's actually pretty amazing, considering like 42% of our people could not. And Denmark wants an alliance. Heck no. I learned for my first time with you guys not to form an alliance with you, because you guys are backstabbers. I'm gonna see if I can get better alliances with other people. You guys stink as alliances goes. Like, seriously, you guys stink. Hmm. I'm also kind of gaining more and more power, but, eh, let's see, Portugal, let's get you guys an alliance, and let's get you guys an alliance. Yeah, Portugal is back in alliance, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing we can't form an alliance with the British anymore because we aren't in this sphere. Yep. So that means, who's going to be our big friend right now? Russia is. Russia is potentially going to be our big gigantic alliance that we're going to try to get. No, because we can't even get that alliance. Austria! Wait, but Austria is about to fall. Hmm. Why are they about to fall, though? That's the question. Because if it's a legit reason, they're at war with these two nations and they're going to lose. Well, hmm. We could gain militaristic alliance with those guys. Anyone else that we could possibly gain militaristic alliance with? Because, I mean, Austria wouldn't be bad. I mean, they're just, they're going to go through a little bit of recovery region. So would... No, actually, these guys would be terrible. In fact, Austria, I think, would ultimately be the guys we need to be with. To, uh... To kind of protect us. So, we'll accept this for now. 
Um, I kind of wish I could join their war to help them out. Because I know right now they're going through extensive, extensive amounts of conquest. Oh gosh, that's kind of terrible right now. They have no military. And, yep, the Russians... Oh my goodness, France is destroying Russia. Ugh, that's why you should always fear the French, everyone. French always have the ability to go in and go conquer the world like the Germans do. They just... Redrawing constitutionalities. You know what? This gives me lots of good stuff and gives me lots of good stuff. Let's do this one. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. And... Okay, I'm gonna bring my, uh, shipyard from here all the way over to my people. And... Gosh dang, we're making so much money now. Now I really gotta... I think I really gotta get my economy back in order. So let's see. Um... Education all the way up. So we can start producing as much education as physically possible. Start not taxing the rich as much. I mean, we can still tax the rich, but not as much. So that they can become even wealthier, so they can help. Administration, we can go about 50% on this. And go about 50% on this. There we go. And now we got a good, healthy economy. Huh, it's funny. I go bankrupt and I get a good, healthy economy. Okay. Let's go right here. This is our full new army. So let's just divide it up. Transport it. Just go slowly transport it over time. And we have a good sized army. Yes. Uh, I still don't know why I do not have a second, um, you know, national idea thing. But apparently, yeah, taking a lot of limits to maximum three national focuses. I don't know why I don't have three yet, though. That's the only thing I'm wondering. But yes, now that we have a good sized army in here, we could actually start doing stuff. We actually have 27 room to expand, and we can actually start doing stuff. Um, mm, although my ally is slowly being conquered by these people, which is kind of stinking. Um, there was apparently a crisis, and everyone's not going to join in on the crisis, let me guess. No one's going to join in on my side. Yep. Okay. <sighs> that was nice to know that no one, no one is, everyone's still pretty, like, angry with me. But, yeah, what is this war even about? Were the Austrians the aggressors? No. Acquire Moldavia. So that's all they're fighting over. And they should have won already, but apparently something's keeping them from winning Moldavia. Which I think Moldavia is just this little region right over here, right? Yeah! Huh. Why would you not want to give that up, Autumn, uh, Austria? Good news, what? Great power contention. Our independence has gradually become undercut and more and more becoming something than only exists on paper. As several foreign great powers vie for control of our political institution, recently tensions have erupted over their rights to construct criminal inv investigations on Greek territory. The great powers will now have either to assert themselves or lose influence. So, tensions in Greece events, well, that's kind of sad, I guess. I didn't really want that, but okay. Um, so, two things to note, guys. One, Italy has formed with, with the two Sicilies remaining independent of Italy, which is not good for them because they got cores on that stuff. So, bye-bye to Sicilies here soon. Okay, and yeah. This war is definitely not really helping out anyone, as Two Sicilies just became a great power. And I really did need that great power in this. That's kind of cool, though. Two Sicilies is a great power, and Italy isn't. <laughs> That's kind of sad, actually, now that I think about it. Italy is a great is not a great power, but Two Sicilies is. Well, I think it's mostly because of the industrial score, but if they were to combine, they could probably make the greatest nation ever. That's all they need to do, is just combine right now, and they can make that powerful nation they've always been waiting for. The powerful Italian Union. And while we're also waiting, let's also build another good sized army in Africa. One, two, three. Wait, not in Tunis. Not in Tunis. One, two, three. And an engineer. One. Wait, we only build two of these. Two. And let's build one in there. Two. And there we go. 
that's going to like decrease our money by a, uh, decrease our man by a lot. Belgium also wants an alliance with me. I'm either losing lots of my alliances or something good's happening finally in this game. Um, yeah, let me make sure there isn't anyone else I'd want to form an alliance with. Because as much as I love Belgium, they're not exactly the most powerful people in the world. I mean, Russia would be the greatest alliance of all time, but I can't get them to like us, can we? Uh, you guys just hate us because I know your relations. Let's just increase that by a little bit. Maybe, maybe we get alliance with the two Sicilies. The two Sicilies would be a great alliance to have. Let's see. Uh, political ally of ally. That gives us too many alliances. Infamy. Naval reduction. I'm almost as powerful as you, dude. <laughs> I don't think that counts as me being weak. But, in terms of relations, we haven't really increased the relationship with this guy. We could possibly get an alliance with him, which would not be that that bad, because they have a 27 military stack, but I don't really want to be dealing with their wars. So, maybe just actually, maybe the Belgium alliance would actually be the greatest we could get. Okay. I mean, Belgium's honestly the guy pretty weak right now, but... I have a feeling they'll back, they'll back up, and honestly, whatever alliances I can form right now are pretty good. I have a pretty good alliance going right now. So, if the Ottoman wants to bait me into attacking, we're going to have major difficulties right now. Oh gosh. They're not going to live. But, the only problem is that I still can't attack them because they have still even bigger alliances that I can't forcibly see getting out of here anytime soon. But, the good thing is, is that we could try to start increasing relationships with, with Prussia, and maybe Prussia could finally start, um, overlapsing the, uh, French in terms of power, which would significantly help us out. So let's get economic responsibility, and it seems like this is just never going to be, I can't invest into this, pop into projects. Venezuela. Oh gosh. Okay, so I can't exactly invest into any of this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, I do know what I'm doing. Social spending get all the way up. Yeah, because I'm right now our economy's doing pretty good. Even though we had a major market crash, we're actually doing really well, which is surprising. Like, severely surprising. You know, I thought this was gonna be a bad party in power, but they actually helped us out, so. So I can't build factories. Who can build factories? Capitalists can build factories. Okay. So what you're basically saying is we need tons of capitalists in our land to start building factories for us. And it looks like Belgium is going to collapse. Yeah, let's get... Let's stop being friends with Belgium. I mean, I, I was hoping maybe they would be like a good power, but... They look like they're about to collapse, so I'm just going to get across to them. And yeah, it looks like it looks like the two Sicilies is much more friendly with me. Let's go for them. They look like a good power that I could potentially use to my end. Okay, yeah, just keep increasing relationships with them. And this could be a long, prosperous journey between me and them. Uh, our soldiers right here are just kind of resting up. I have some random soldiers everywhere. Kind of stinks. Uh, let's go get our soldiers that are over here group them all up, go send them over there to Asab. In fact, we can build, we can make Asab like one of our main, uh, uh, naval bases. And since we have so much army, let's actually just start building, you know, actual defenses in our land. There we go. Actual defenses in our land. So that maybe when things actually go bad, we have much more to fight with than just empty, you know, promises and stuff. I don't know. But, hmm. They're gonna be allied with Italy, Poland. Wow, France lost a lot of its alliances, I feel. I feel like they lost a lot of them. Uh, we, on the other hand, are just starting to gain it. You guys want good education. You guys don't really care about gerrymandering. You guys don't really care about that. Censored press. You guys really do not care about censored press. I'm really happy of that. Uh, but we'll get good education school systems so that you guys can actually gain good education so that people can actually start feeling happy about the education system 
get all the people in the boats, gain all these ships over here, go send them all the way right there. We got Colonial Incidents who... What's your... Why does this always happen against my ally? Like, seriously, does... Do I not just not get Cosbella against allies? Can I just get Cosbella against, like, people that I don't really like that much? Like, I would have preferred Britain this time. Like, seriously, Britain would have been honestly acceptable this time if you would have given it to me. Okay. And I'm going to group all my army up. And what we could honestly do, now that we actually have our own independent army, is we could actually go for a little bit of a conquest of Egypt. Ha, <laughs> ha. And actually succeed. So, I'll, yeah, I'll think about that. But I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a fun episode. Fun little thing I'm doing right now. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.